I think nobody can prepare for the events that played afterwards. We had to make quick decisions due to government's uh, lockdown regulations that was put in place on 26 of March 2020. And we actually had to make a quick decision on operational conditions, um, our whole staff contingency, how we're going to split that up so we can keep some people that can still uh, do our work with the elephants, um, maintaining of the farm and keep personnel. It was quite a tough decision, um, but we coped. I think that we learned a lot through the, through the, <laughs> the process and uh, we will continue learning, I guess. It's my role to see that people on a single day, they get to know the value of these animals in nature and how together we can actually look after them. So with people not coming, I feel like I'm missing that part. But happy that um, I have elephants and I can see they're happy. But I still need more people to actually share with them the mysteries of these creatures. Tourism was one of the sectors that was hardest hit by the COVID regulations. So as uh, bed and breakfast, hotels, lodging, restaurants, and the list can go on. But from a, from a COVID perspective, we had to adapt to regulations, um, new PPEs that came into plaque, uh, screens, sanitizing stations. That we had to spend quite a lot of money to get all of that in place. So if we open it, we are compliant to our regulations that were set out by the sector and government and so forth. Um, yeah, tours had to change. We had to reinvent slightly a different uh, approach to how we're going to do tours. In the past we had a, a volume of people that we could handle and control but now all of that has been cut off. You know your international market uh, travel is, is closed down, uh, inbound travel is limited um, so yeah it, it made a huge difference to um, our financial income and to support what we still need to and mainly our elephants and staff that, that is taking care of the elephants. So our new products from where we got onto our, our tractor uh, that would take it to the fuel, that is no longer implemented. We've now got a natural way of trying to move people into the field. We're not doing guiding as such yet. We give people the opportunity to follow a guided route. We still have our guides in the field for safety when they get too close to the elephants, but everything is now from a, a more of a natural approach where people can still view the elephants in a natural environment, they can still view the opportunity to where they eat, where they drink water, all of that on their time. And it might develop a better product in the end. So I think we're learning all the way and there's going to be a lot of changes and, and, and challenges coming when COVID is, is reduced. Now we see a little bit of people coming in, but I think when the majority comes in, we will be prepared to, to take steps and implement as things adapt. And that's what What's nice about our, our business and the environment, we are able to adapt to any challenge or any setback and, and we as a management team with Jeffrey, our elephant manager, and me personally being involved with a lot of the, um, I would say, new products, um, how do we do things, we also don't know. So we, we're trying to slowly throw the net out again and, and learn from what we catch and, and that's, that's I think the, the basics that needs to be builded to see where we're going to end up in the next few months that's coming.